Thailand was far better than I thought it would be because with, with the pacemaker I was uncertain whether I would see the distance. But we, we didn't ride any more than about 80 odd kilometres in a day and I managed that well, standing on one ear or whatever the, the, the expression is. Mm. And um, I think talking to people afterwards they said, well you had a very good tour guide because the smart ones stop you every 20 k gives you something to eat or drink and stand around it's when you try and do the 80k in one hit mm. so we managed it easily and the weather was no problem we very quickly got used to the heat although to be truthful we had been in Bangkok for what was it three days mm. before mm. we started riding mm. and the food was fabulous mm. because the Thai guide we had was riding with us he was an ex-cook and had all these funny little restaurants so we never never ate with westerners we'd get in the little bus and drive out and mm. some funny little back street with absolutely mm. wonderful food and it really did also open our eyes to you know the the impoverished conditions but still a very happy and a joyful people um so we 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 feel fortunate don't we darling to um have what we have but yes. um Anyway, um. yes, the, the ride around Bangkok, really a, a tour of the slums of Bangkok was yeah. disconcerting. Yeah, yeah. And yet they, they mm. seem to be happy enough. So you trip to Darwin, which is in July. Oh. What's, what's the main reason for the, it's for the bird watching? Bird watching. And uh, what kind of birds? Oh, um, well, you've done the research on the birds, darling. With Philip's. Yes, uh, we. There are some very unusual little birds called grass wrens. We've only ever seen one of them and that was right up in... On the Mitchell Plateau. On the Mitchell Plateau when we were there before. We'd like to see another three or four of those if we're lucky. We'd love mm. to see another very unusual bird called the letter wing kite. Mm. But we're not fanatical twitches. We'll be happy if we mm. see them but we won't be devastated if we don't. It, we're it's, just also it's, in... It's just the fun of yeah, and we enjoy each other's company while we're travelling and we listen to talking books and so the adventure sort of starts from the moment we, um, we get up in the morning and we just really, you know, it, it's a, a good exploration of the outback but also just a chance to be together and mm. well, we... Also I get a lot of fun out of making the preparations, doing the research, mm. getting on the internet, getting my reference books mm. and drawing up a long list of what birds Mm. might be seen on any given day mm. and where they'll be seen and um, because the advice is incredibly specific they will give you a distance to the to the nearest 10 meters sometimes and say go to this spot and uh, and then there's no guarantee but that's where you're most likely to see what you're looking for mm. Mm. So just on retirement, uh, mm. I'll discuss it with you in the airfield, uh, like the importance of remaining active throughout retirement. Is that yes. a true statement, you think? Oh, yes. yes. Active. Well, Being tell, active tell, tell is... Tell about your dancing and singing. Oh, well, I've joined um, a, a NIA dance group, which um, is supposed to be a, a health through movement. And I come home and show Philip the dancers and... I think you should come down and do some arm ones for his, he's been chopping too much wood at Foster and got a sore arm. But um, yeah, we, we do keep active and we do keep, try to keep mentally um, alert as well. And uh, you're very good at um, taking something like your new camera and exploring it with um, great um, detail, all the ins and outs of it and reading the instruction book very thoroughly and um, downloading all the um, yes. 700 pages of information about it so um, and then I learn from Sorry, you no, if I can 165 oh. <laughs> well anyway we um, yeah we, we, we I bought Philip a bike when we got married 11 years ago nearly 12 and um, probably at that stage um, I think we after one serious fall I think we feel we're lucky to still be together and um, fit enough to enjoy these adventures so um, uh, but mentally m the mental alertness is important too yes. so Phillips taught me to do cryptic crosswords and and you're getting better hmm. starting yeah. from a very low base but you're <laughs> champion, yeah. are you? no no I'm mm. I'm middle of the road compared with some of the people I've 
mm. thing, but it, it's a bit like golf or bird watching or anything. The, the actual level at which you perform is not so important. Mm. It's just the enjoyment you derive from it. Mm.